How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win and welcome to another episode of some Black Ops 2. I think I have a pretty exciting topic that I want to talk to you guys about today. So it should be interesting. If you would leave a like, that would be awesome. Let's get into what I want to talk about. So Treyarch said there's not going to be any more gun DLCs, but that doesn't mean they couldn't add anything like a score streak. And that got my or that got me thinking really. What would be a really cool new score streak? If they were to implement that in a further DLC, Woody's Gamertag said it best. He says, at this point, DLCs have to be more than just maps. I mean, come on, guys. We are so far into the DLC cycle of games that ma anything besides a map has to be included. And I actually got to play with him a few days ago. I got a game or two with him, uh, so you'll be seeing that later. And for you guys coming over from Thunder's channel, first off, I want to say thank you, Thunder. Uh, we had a great time playing. For those of you who don't know, I'm I'm not just like a subscriber that joins Thunder's session. We, we play a lot. We're pretty good friends. Um, you know, we love playing Black Ops 2 when we're not screaming at it, and, uh, yeah, this is the game before I got the quad spray, which is why you see me using the Scorpion right here. Pretty good TDM, so hopefully you guys can enjoy. But yeah, I was playing with Woody, we talked about this a little bit, and, um, I thought it was really cool. So, w essentially what I want to talk about are three new kill streak ideas, or score streak ideas, that I've kind of come up with. Well, one I didn't come up with, and I'll give credit to the person when I talk about it. The first one is kind of like an intel plane. Uh, not a spy plane, but an intel plane. I'm thinking it would be a little bit higher than a spy plane, and when you call it in, you could press the start menu, and you could see, uh, you know, a list of all the players on the enemy team, and if they had a score streak going, you could see what score streak they were on, and what they were about to get, or if they were using an equipment, or, you know, what type of attachments they have on their gun, you know, and it would only last for, like, 10 seconds so someone would get it they look at the start menu and if you're in a game like search and destroy you could say hey someone's got an MMS you might want to put cold blooded on next round or someone's really close to a lightning strike so if you're taking a domination flag you might want to be careful you might want to jump on it and then jump off because they'll hit you with that lightning strike and you won't be able to get it that's something I'm thinking hopefully in the eyes of you guys that won't be too overpowered I don't think it will because it's not going to show enemy location and it's not going to show where they are it's just going to show what characters might be close to certain score streaks, kind of like the Codcaster menu uh, that we experienced in the Call of Duty Championships. So uh, I think that's a pretty cool idea. I don't know what you guys might think about that. The second one is an orbital strike. Now this is combining the lightning strike and the orbital VSAT. Now my suggestion for this one is have the orbital strike maybe 50 or 100 points higher than the lightning strike and it will essentially act very similar to a lightning strike. You'll pull it up on the, your little tablet or laptop and you will pick points to drop this strike and instead of killing people like a lightning strike it will make the enemies that are tagged appear as orbital VSAT triangles on your mini map until they die. As soon as they die they don't become uh, the red triangles anymore but for as long as they are alive in that life they will be red triangles on your mini map that's why I'm calling it the orbital strike so if you only happen to get one person you only get one person that you see as the orbital strike radar but if you get an entire team you'll have an SR-71 just for the life like let's say you die five seconds afterwards your next life will not have that orbital VSAT radar for you you won't be tagged anymore basically and I know this was really similar to the support kill streak in Modern Warfare 3, that like drone of some sort, that parrot drone or whatever. I didn't like that because you could be tagged as many times as you wanted. This is a one time thing, you don't get to fly around with it, you drop down points and if you're hit with like the little, I guess I'll call it laser beam, warning like 7 man or 5 man hellstorm coming up in a second. Really cool right here, so boom, get them, like all 5 of them right there. And uh, yeah, so that's what I think is uh, another cool streak option. The last one I want to talk about comes from Mr. Sark, and he actually mentioned the propaganda plane. Now, what the propaganda plane is, before the match, you can record anything you want, kind of like via the Xbox party system. Record anything you want, and at any time during the match, during a kill cam, you can force an enemy to listen to what you say. So you can trash talk and belittle them all you want in a message before the lobby, and at any time during the game, if you kill them right after you kill them, you can force them to listen to that message in a kill cam. I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know how practical or reliable it is, but I still think it's a pretty awesome idea because I know there's so many times in games where I just want to send a trash talk message to a guy who uh, you know, isn't cooperating or isn't really playing by the rules and being a, a no fun person to play against. So I think that would be a pretty cool idea. But I want to know your guys' opinions on the my three score streaks. Uh, the Intel um, Intel plane, the Orbital Strike, as I'll call it, and then the Propaganda plane from Mr. Sark. What do you think about those guys? Anyways, take care. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Uprising tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next video.